how's it going everybody? Thanks for checking out Exhaust State Comics. This is the new comic book day haul for August 9th. All the books I picked up this week, it still was not a large week. I don't know if it's just that my pull list has cut to that point or what, but I mean it was a decent week. It was a decent week. This many books. So, not, not a, like a, a crazy amount, but still very good. So, thanks for checking out the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, if it's your first time here, what we do on the haul is go through the books that I picked up this week, talk about them a little bit, show off a little bit of the interior art, and then we'll go through the comments from next week. So definitely leave a comment, and I'll go over it next week, and next week's all. That's how easy that is. It's pretty simple. Um, definitely check us out on Tuesday night. That's uh, JLS Comics, uh, comic, or Tuesday's Comic Conversation. Uh, that's at 8.30 Eastern Time. But what... In two weeks or three weeks, August thirty first, I think, is a Thursday, and we're gonna be switching to the to Thursday starting then. So that's that's kind of fun. Um, definitely, also, definitely, also, <laughs> uh, check out comics and stuff. We got a Monday night show over there, run about eight p.m. Eastern. We're, I think we're doing like every other week. I think that's what we kind of decided on for that show, um, just to kind of give everybody a, a, a chance to breathe. <laughs> there's a lot of shows um, but yeah I think I think that's what we decided just to accommodate everybody's schedule and see what we're doing who knows it could go back to weekly you never know and uh, of course check out Strictly Comics he has a live auction this Sunday definitely check his channel out I know he put out a haul today also and uh, I think he did check out his Instagram definitely because he's throwing up a whole bunch of the books that are going to be in the auction on his Instagram so check out his channel and comicbook.com, last and least, there we'll go with uh, comicbook.com. Definitely check out the site. New articles are coming soon, as well as a revamped website. We're actually doing an upgrade right now. It's just taking forever. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's get into the books that I picked up this week. And we're going to start off with some true believers, because, oh, it's Thor. It was like Thor week for True Believers or something. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we got a reprint here of Journey into Mystery 83. The first Thor in Marvel Comics. So, of course, I'm super pumped. Richard Bla or, uh, Donald Blake finding the hammer. This is good stuff. This is Kirby right here, baby. And to go along with that, we got the first meeting of Hulk and the Thor. And wait. <laughs> of the Hulk. <laughs> See, I'm so excited I can't even talk about it. But of course, this is a reprint of Journey into Mystery 112. Uh, so, very, very cool. Just super pumped to have these as readers. I mean, come on, what's not to like? Giant Man. There you go. Greatness. Kirby. All right, so yeah, pump that, pump to get those. That was that was just really cool. I mean, of course I'm gonna pick them up. Okay, so actual new new books that came out this week. New new, new new. Uh, <laughs> we got Titans issue number fourteen. Looks like Brett Booth is back on this book, or at least he's yep, yep. Brett Booth is back doing the art um, after I guess he was off for two issues. Maybe he just took a break. Or he was working on, I know he's got a backup story or something, and a Wildstorm trade that's going to be coming out soon. So maybe this was just during the time when he was working on that. I'm not 100% sure. So, very cool. Glad he's back on it. I mean, I dug what, what uh, crap. I can't remember who jumped on there in the meantime. I can't remember, but that was good too. So, eh, it's all good. All right, next up we got Secret Empire, issue number eight. We're almost done with this book. So close. This is not the end, though. Right? Yep, not the end. So, I think we have one more issue to go. I think we're done after that. Uh, let's show you something. Um, there was a bomb. Okay. Imagine that. Imagine that. Okay, new from DC this week. This was something I thought was really cool. I picked up cover the B cover, just because I like the B cover a little bit better. Mr. Miracle, issue number one. Um, I don't really have a, a big background with Mr. Miracle, uh, other than, you know, of 
course, he was on like Justice League, Justice League Unlimited animated series. I've read some of the stuff with him in it, um, but I've never picked up like his series or anything like that. So it's always been like him as a character in other in like Justice League and things like that. But I've never actually just read his stuff. So I was kind of pumped to pick this one up, see what it's about. I uh, hope. Oh, no. All right, this is trippy, man. This is a trippy book. Do we need like? 3D glasses or something for this book? You, when you get the book, it, you'll be... You'll, you'll. Can you even see his eyes? Up here? No. There's just like a wavy blur. On this one. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Man, I don't know. I'm going to read it. Hopefully the story is really good. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Dang. That art was not what I was expecting. What would y'all think about Mr. Miracle? <laughs> okay. Oh, fun book that I picked up this week because it's fun. Uh, and it's a dual book, right? It's one of those fun flip books, basically. So this side is Youngblood, issue number four from Image. And this is the Rob Liefeld cover. This is cover two. So B cover, Liefeld cover. And it's fun. It's, you know, it's fun stuff. There's some good stuff going on. It's actually been a solid story. It's Youngblood. Uh, it's... It's a more kind of a light-hearted approach to it, I think. And at least in the beginning. I mean, they're kind of getting into the meat and the potatoes of the story now. But uh, it, it started off pretty cool. And then, on the back, you flip it over, right? So you got Youngblood. And then you flip it. And you got Bloodstrike, number three. Right? It's only a few pages. It's several pages, actually. But it is solid. It is. It is. I mean, it's just 90 spectacular goodness. It's art script and story by Mr. Rob Liefeld himself. So, you know, not a lot of feet action. There's like, you know, a foot is like kicks and things like that from distance. So not a lot of detail. But it's okay. There's noticeably fewer patches or pouches. Noticeably fewer pouches. Like just around belts. Yep, just around belts. That's crazy. Hmm. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. But that's cool. And the way they're doing that is I think the Blood Strike thing is just going to run for a couple issues to finish out that story. Um, because they did an issue one and issue two full issues uh, not too long ago. But that is what it is. Okay. Red Hood and the Outlaws. Issue number 13. This is part two of The Life of Bizarro. Got cover A? Yeah, cover A. Cover B was nice, though. See, this book, if, if the Mr. Miracle book looked like this, it would be awesome to me. That's just my, you know, art preference, you know. Mm. Tell me what you think. Oh, no, I had to get this cover, right? I had to get this one. This is Batman Detective Comics, uh, 962. This is the A cover. The B cover was nice. But this A cover is solid. Bat, Azrael, Azrael Bat, whatever you want to call him. That's what he's going to be. Um, that's just cool to see, man. That is a solid, solid cover. Oh, what, wait, what does he say? Bat, Azrael, Azbat. I don't know. That's just cool. It's cool. It's cool. Right? It's cool. Okay. Next up, we got All New Wolverine, issue number 23. So, we're still on the All New Wolverine train for now. Holy crap. And have you seen there's a pop? There's an All New Wolverine pop. Come, all right. It's X23. I think it's like 230 or something like that. It's the number. Um, so, I think it's a Toys R Us exclusive. But I am definitely going to be looking for that soon. 
Okay, next up, we just got two more books here. Action Comics, 985. We are so close. 15 issues away, everybody, from number 1,000. Now, that's that's going to be a super milestone issue. I'm sure it's going to be, you know, mega-sized with a bazillion variants and $10 or something crazy. I don't know why I keep showing you this. People of Earth stuff. There's just some work. Of Superman. Oh, and Defenders. Defender starts next week, everybody, so get pumped. Next Thursday night, like 3 a.m., it'll probably drop, something like that. So, let the binge watching begin. Now, the book, though, I may be uh, kind of on the fence with it. I think I might give it one more issue. Like, we'll see how this one goes, and maybe I'll give issue five a shot. Um, if this one still holds up. Yeah, it's to be continued. And the puncher. Um, so, I'm going to stick on it for one more issue. We're going to see how this one goes. And one more issue. And then I'm going to kind of reevaluate. But, I don't know. I'm not digging it as much as I hoped I would. It's okay. Again, maybe it's something with the art. I don't know. I don't know. But if you haven't been able to notice here, I picked up a lot more DC books this week than Marvel. Like, I only picked up a few Marvel books. And I did not even try the Phoenix Jean Grey Generations issue just because of how bad Hulk was last week. Uh, so there's that. Okay. Also, let me go ahead and plug Sunday Morning Comics this week is going to be crazy. We had a massive box of comics that's sitting over here that's waiting to be opened. Uh, it's very heavy. There's a pro it, there's a lot of comics in there. It's not like one. It's a big box. So we're going to be opening that on Sunday morning comics. Plus, I think I have another package that should be here um, by then also. So something cool to look forward to. I'm, that's going to take forever. I almost want to do like like a sol like a video just for unboxing that just because it's massive. And that will be from that's from an anonymous benefactor who wishes to remain anonymous. <laughs> so we'll see what's in there. Could be cool. Could be cool. Okay, so that was all the new books. Let's jump over and check out the comments from last week and see what everybody was saying. Uh, let's go with Holger Peterson. What's up, Holger? Holger says, hello, Justin. Yo. Uh, again, a great haul video. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Uh, my favorite books from last week's comics were Nightwing 26, solid book, Deathstroke 22, yeah, man, that, like, Dr. Light stuff was nuts. Uh, Jessica Jones, 11. Black Bolt, 4. I've heard really good things about about the Black Bolt series. Um, so I may have to check that one out soon. Uh, Darth Vader, 4. No more Marvel books? Mm. Uh, a few good ones are always there, but I can understand that. I've read the Marvel Generations banner and Totally Awesome Hulk, number 1, and it was a huge disappointment. I expected much, much more. Yes, sir. I think we all did. I think that was the general consensus uh, with that book is I did not hear a complete positive review for it, which is which is pretty sad. Um, that's the, I mean, maybe it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but it, I, mm, whatever. Moving on. Next up, we got JLS Comics. What's going on, JLS Comics? He says, great haul. I really enjoyed diving into the Robotech world again. Dude, was that not cool? Robotech issue one came out last week. Everybody, if you haven't if you haven't seen it, um, if you are a fan of anime or if you have watched Robotech, it's on Netflix. You can go watch it. It's an older anime from the '80s, but it's solid. It is solid. You should. I mean, it's it's one of the one of the first that really came over here and like made an impact. I think you know, and it was early on. So, ton of episodes. Go for it. Next up, we got Rag718. What's going on, Rag? How's it going, man? He says, Great haul. No Marvel. No worries. I think I only picked up Darth Vader cover A and a variant. Uh, I kind of agree of light this week. Nothing solid. Great vid. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, Rag. Rag718. Uh, and like I said, if I mention people, check out their channels. They've always got some good stuff going on, too, probably. Most of them do, I know, for sure, but... Uh, next up, we got the comic book villain. What's going on, villain? Says, great haul, Justin. Oh, wait. 
Got to click read more over here. Okay. <laughs> Phil says, ah, Great haul as always, Justin. Small week for me, too. Only picked up 19 books. Holy crap, man. That's a big week. Uh, my LCS had like five or six covers to the Robotech. Only one I wanted was the A, the Art Germ uh, cover, and that Batman 28B cover, Neil Adams, was off the chain. Yes, sir. Um, that's how Batman should look all the time. I agree. Well, the book I'm looking forward to most reading this week are Black Number 6, the final chapter, a new one from Oni Press called Dead of Winter, uh, written by Kyle Starks. Dead of Winter. Was that the one with the dog on it? I, th I almost picked that one up, man. I might still pick that one up. I think I kind of want it. Hillbilly 7, Savage Things 6, uh, Stain 4, Walking Dead 170, X-Men Gold 9, which I heard good things about X-Men Gold 9. Uh, I may be picking all those up that I don't already have and just kind of moving forward with that series because I miss not having an X-Men book. Astonishing was good, though. I'm having an X-Men crisis. Uh, oh gosh, it's an X-Men crisis. <laughs> I feel like I'm not getting any Marvel books. So, I'm willing to like, sneak a few titles back in, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Something to do. Something to think about. Uh, well, Justin, my friend, until next week, later is the comic book villain. Thanks a lot, villain. I really appreciate the comment, man. Uh, and I said, we got Johnny. What's going on, Johnny? He says, hello there, great Marvel Hall. <laughs> that's funny. He says, I'm not picking up a lot of books. Eight series at one time at most. I mean, that's still, that's still, when I mean, you break that out over a month, that's two books a week. That's, that, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but, mm, but when I was updating list of books I pick up, I noticed the 23rd of August has four Marvel books and none DC. Man, well, that's a flip-flop week for you. They just work out that way sometimes. Uh, also, love your... <laughs> that's funny. Uh, he said he liked the comment about me drinking their straw on camera because it's less messy. <laughs> it is. It's easier. The beard's going to go soon, though. Um, he says he has a beard, too, so he knows the struggle. <laughs> uh, it sucks, Johnny. All right, next up, we got Seeking Near Mint Comics. What's going on, Seeking Near Mint Comics? Uh, oh, man. They did a show over on Doom's channel a couple nights ago, so everybody check that out. Um, that was super, super cool. Um, I think it was it was Seeking Near Mint and Alex Comic Quarter. And, oh, man, I can't remember who else was on there, but that was a great show. That, I had a lot of fun watching that one. Uh, Seeking Near Mint Comics. Is great pickup on new comic book day releases. Thanks, man. Uh, I have heard the New Gods one shot is a solid read, dude. I really enjoyed that book. It was fun. I mean, there's two stories in it, but it was a good book. Um, it's exactly like what a one shot should be, you know. He said the Robotech cover A by Art Germ was to get. Definitely got that one. Uh, also, Justice League 26 is a spec to have on the B cover as it introduces the Justice League kids. From what I've read. Okay, speaking of spec, this week, I did not pick it up, but there was, like, negative Flash showed up for the first time in the Flash issue this week, so... That could be something people might want to spec on. Uh, it's a good thing, no Marvel, as you would have wasted your money. <laughs> then he said also, love to see your sexy covers. If you haven't, check out uh, Seeking Near Mint's channel. There's a sexy cover. Not really a tag, but he did a video, and if you want to do one, it could be something fun to do. Alright, next up we got Gomez Comic Collector. What's up, Gomez? It's great haul, bro. Uh, no Marvel? Oh, man. But I'm with you. There's nothing solid this week. Great vid, as always. Thanks a lot. Everybody check out Gomez Comic Collector. He's always got good hauls going up. Fun stuff. Okay. Holy crap. We made it, everybody. That's it. We have made it through all the comments. We went through all the comics that I picked up. Like I said... Check me out this Sunday morning for Sunday Morning Comics. There's always good stuff going on. And then later on Sunday is Edwin's uh, auction. So Strictly Comics auction later at like Sunday at 7 p.m. So definitely check that out. Uh, but like I said, on Sunday Morning Comics, we're going to be opening that big box of comics and seeing what's in there. And then there should be another package here, I believe, at the same time. So it should be a fun one. All right, everybody, like, subscribe, do that kind of fun stuff. Like I said, leave a comment. I'll go over it next week. 
And, uh, yeah, I guess uh, let me know what you thought of Mr. Miracle if you picked it up. Art-wise. Okay, have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching. I'll be back very soon with some more stuff. Because that's what we do. Have a good one.